Crime Stoppers has uh, benefited us because it has cleared those cases that uh, could have been unsolvable cases uh, where we didn't have the evidence or we didn't have the witnesses where somebody has come across and, and given us that information that was needed to make a case. Um, state police worked a homicide a couple years ago. It was, it was a tough case for them. They were pretty much at a dead end uh, sector. Then we got a telephone call where the gun was placed at and so forth. And, and the information was good enough where they were able to make the case and uh, make an arrest in, in that particular homicide. And that's why Crime Stoppers, you know, we're looking for those people that uh, are afraid to come across and be good citizens. A lot of people out there want to help the law enforcement, but they're afraid by getting involved that they're going to have to take time off their jobs, they're going to have to go to court and testify, or they're going to afraid of this repercussion uh, that uh, if they testify against somebody, they're going to come back and get them. Well, through Crime Stoppers, we offer them a way that they can become involved and not actually get involved. When they call Crime Stoppers through this special line that we have set up, uh, we ask, first of all, no names from the caller. We never ask their, their identity is protected. The only thing we're looking for is the information. And we use this information as a tool. Uh, it's just like a puzzle. We, when you got a crime scene, we got to put this puzzle together, and we place it together through evidence, uh, witnesses, and uh, whatever else we can put in to make this case. And that's how we use Crime Stoppers as a piece of this puzzle, and hopefully we can put the picture together to make a case. The very first case that we ran as a crime of the week solved uh, burglaries and car thefts over seven or seven different states, I believe. So, you know, we started off with a gangbuster, uh, you know, the first phone call really solved uh, a, good, a, a good robbery here in Frankfurt, plus in, in other states. So, and immediately, we found out through the Frankfurt Crime Stoppers program that, you know, our program not only affects the people of Frankfurt, but it can affect people all over the United States. Uh, it, from what I remember, it was an armed robbery uh, where the employees were taken to the back of the store and, and locked up in one of the things, the robbery, and the guy took off. There were no leads. The, the person had a cover over his face of some sort, if I, don't, if I remember correctly. And uh, there really were no leads. No, you know, the police really had no idea where to start looking. You know, they did. The only lead they had was a, a description, slight description of, of the... Uh, the person committing the uh, robbery. Then the uh, Crime Stoppers, as I, you know, as I said, went through the complete facet. We did the the reenactment, which was published on cable ten. We did the uh, re uh, Crime of the Week. It went in as the first Crime of the Week on the local radio stations and the local newspaper. Uh, and the within a week after we publicized, or very shortly after we publicized it as the crime of the week and did the reenactment, uh, the phone call came in and this person was in Florida and uh, was extradited back from Florida to Kentucky. And because of our Crime Stoppers program, this fella had been committing crimes, I think, from uh, the northern United States clear through to Florida. You know, he was just passing through here. And uh, because of that, I believe this man is still in jail today, and that was five years ago. So, yes, it works. It gets the criminals off the street. Crime Stoppers is a tool which helps apprehend criminals that in many instances our regular law enforcement agencies are unable to apprehend. Often it will break cases for which there seemingly are no clues and uh, no way to uh, determine the guilty parties and uh, as a matter of fact up through July since the inception of Crime Stoppers which was in um, July 1982 there have been uh, 75 arrests and 60, uh, 60 75 indictments and uh, 68 convictions and I'm sure that many of those some of them I'm sure positive about uh, would not have been solved had it not been for a Crime Stoppers tip. And uh, we're, many of them aren't sensational crimes. They are uh, 
crimes that we have to deal with every day in our schools, on our streets, wherever. Many of them are drug-related, uh, uh, narcotics-related, which is uh, becoming a routine, uh, everyday fact of life, it seems, in just about all communities. But uh, Crime Stoppers has done much, in my opinion, to uh, help fight the dope and narcotic situation here in Franklin, as well as other crimes, of course. Probably one of the first ones I worked on was a, we had three separate schools that were burglarized here in Franklin County. Uh, Crime Stoppers provided us with enough information that we went out and started uh, our investigation with the Crime Stoppers tip and pulled in some of the people that the Crime Stoppers tip had named and ended up solving three burglaries. Uh, also coming out of that case was uh, uh, several drug-related charges when we did a search warrant in reference to some stolen property that was involved in, from the schools. Uh, to date, all of those cases have gone to court and we got convictions on all of them. Uh, and I think it ended up something like uh, three burglaries and uh, two, repeat, two people receiving uh, prison sentences for receiving stolen property from the schools. Uh, one subject receiving uh, prison sentences for trafficking in cocaine, trafficking in marijuana, uh, receiving stolen property on a handgun out of Ohio, uh, a number of things. So this wasn't just a case of children vandalizing up their own schools, it was... This was a case where two adults were having children enter the schools and steal VCRs and TVs and they were turning the VCRs and TVs over to the adults, and the adults, of course, were in turn selling them for profit. Uh, in that particular case, we never did recover any of the property because it all went out of state uh, and was sold out of state. However, we did get convictions on the two, two adults in the case. Uh, we had another Crime Stoppers tip in relation to a uh, burglary of a drugstore in the area. Uh, from that case, we ended up solving uh, that particular burglary, plus uh, we came up with a 50 count indictment on uh, an employee of the uh, pharmacy that was taking drugs from the pharmacy. We were able to the Crime Stoppers tip gave us information that that was going on and we were able to check records and 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 charge that individual not only with uh, the uh, assisting on the burglary but also with uh, the prior thefts that had been going on from the pharmacy. Uh, also stemming out of that case uh, through investigation, which of course was uh, made possible by Crime Stoppers, we were able to solve something like eight or ten more drug cases, uh, including uh, I think four or five trafficking cocaine cases, some trafficking marijuana and different things. Last fall, uh, an individual or individuals uh, broke into the high school here at Frankfurt High School and um, did uh, some spray painting, some general vandalism, uh, and stole some uh, property from the school. Um, the police, of course, investigated it, and uh, it was put on the, the Crime Stopper list. A uh, reward was offered, and uh, later on uh, in the school year, um, Crime Stoppers was approached by individuals who had um, uh, evidence or knew about individuals who had broken into the school and uh, uh, through the help of Crime Stoppers, uh, the case was solved. In this case, uh, I don't know that uh, we would have uh, found out uh, who uh, did the break-in without Crime Stoppers. I think the lure of money uh, helped uh, the uh, person 
bring uh, forth the uh, information needed. Uh, it was, uh, of course, it was all kept uh, secret, as it says, and uh, the money was uh, given to the individual. And uh, uh, I'm satisfied that without Crime Stoppers, uh, that we may not have found out who, who did this. It's been about three or four years ago. We had a, an elderly lady give me a call one day, and she was telling me about two young men that broke into a Coca-Cola machine. And uh, she knew the, the exact details as far as how they did it, when they did it, and how much money they got out of it. So after talking to these two youngsters, and they, all, they were, I think, 17, 16, 17 years of age, uh, we were able to make a case. Our detectives took them to court, and they made restitution back to uh, the uh, gasoline station or phone station. And uh, I talked to the lady, I think, a couple of days after the court proceedings, and come to find out this lady was the mother of one of the, the kids that was involved. And she was more or less concerned that uh, her son was taking a, a wrong direction. She wanted it to stop before it got any further. And of course, she did not want any reward. Of course, the reward was very low in this account, but at the same time, she said, I don't want any money. I just wanted some help from my son. And two cases that I can think of, that one and, and we had some kids break into one of our local schools one time where uh, it was family related, the call was, and they was more or less concerned of getting these kids some help. You know? A young person like that, and this, this was a, uh, a young fellow that, uh, if I recall correctly, was uh, in his mid-teens. Uh, if he gets caught with something like that and is introduced at, at an early age, to the criminal justice system, like I said before, we have a much higher potential of, of rehabilitating that person. And generally, those, those uh, young people won't make that same mistake a second time. Uh, they, they get stung once, and they generally will, will drop it. It's when you get a little later years, late teens, early 20s, and they're having repeated successes. I think that's where you begin to have your problem. I think it's important to, to make the distinction that Crime Stoppers is not a police department program. Uh, it's a city of Frankfurt uh, community program. It's not operated by the city. It's not operated by the, the police department. Uh, it's operated by a group of individuals that volunteer their time to come in, try to direct the activities of Crime Stoppers, uh, vote on, on the rewards that are handed out. Uh, so it's, it's really a community program. Since our inception, uh, we have been able to clear over 142 cases. And we have been able to confiscate in a neighborhood of $21,000 in stolen property and narcotics. So this is a large sum with just in the few years that we've been in existence. And again, I'd like to reiterate uh, the type of crimes that we deal with, this should show that we deal with it very effectively. My personal major indicator as to how successful the Crime Stoppers program in Frankfurt is are the crimes that are solved that were the dead-end crimes, the crimes that would not be solved definitely if it were not for the Crime Stoppers program. And included in those crimes are our most vicious crimes that we've, we've solved. In the past, all monies have come from local businesses, donations, uh, the financial institutions, and just private citizens wanting to be a part of the program. Uh, they've donated their $5, their dollars, and, and uh, this adds up, and that's what we need. Crime Stoppers program is not like other programs. The more successful they are, the more money they make. The more successful we are, the more money we're paying out. And it really is because our program is, is, is growing and becoming a more mature program is, is why we're broke and we need your help. And I turned around facing a barrel. <laughs> it looked like a nickel plated 38. I'd say it had about a six inch barrel, but it looked about two foot long and about twice as big. Um, they told me to lay down on the floor, I did, and the next thing I knew, they was gone. I work for a living myself. I think anybody that uh, has to resort to robbery for a living should not be on the street, definitely. And if I can help put any of them away, I will.